Hey there, you filthy animals. Mr. Dirty back with another episode of the GTM Show. And today we've got frozen pizza on the show again by way of DiGiorno. Once again, it's the company that has the logo. It's not delivery. It's DiGiorno. And typically we see them trying to like knock off places like uh, what Pizza Hut, Domino's, Papa John's. That's who they're usually referring to. Not this time. This time it looks like they're going at the necks of Little Caesars and Jets. And being that it's not delivery to Giorno, it might be more so at the neck of Jets Pizza. Because uh, at least the Little Caesars in my area, none of them deliver. And what I'm referring to is their new line of pizzas they have in the uh, frozen food department of supermarkets, grocery stores. And uh, yeah, let's just take a look at this. This is the DiGiorno Crispy Pan Pizza. So there you go. There is the package you're looking for if you're looking for this in stores. Take all that in. It even says that it comes with the pan to create that crispy crust with the crispy little edges like you see at uh, Little Caesars and whatnot. You know, using the oil pan style square pizza pans. Now, I did see like three or four varieties of these on store shelves. I got the three meat pizza one because it allows us to try the pepperoni, the sausage, and their what's like ground beef or hamburger or something like that. Uh, what are they describing as sausage, pepperoni, and beef topping is what they're telling us here. Of course, the sausage is a pork and chicken mix. Also be on the lookout if you don't see it like this. It might be because you're a grocer or vendor, you know, for space or however they've got the stuff set up. It might be in the vertical packaging. All right, on this side of the box, you're going to have your nutrition fact chart. Go ahead and pause the screen and read any of this if you need to. All right below that, list of ingredients. Take all that in. It's a lengthy one. All right, on the bottom of the box, we're going to find our cooking instructions right there. It's all for the oven. You know, no microwave, no crap like that going on here. And we're going to go over these in just a second. We'll just like briefly run through them. Top of the box, you got a pull strip to get into it. Get us your pizza and pizza pan. All right, and bam, there you go. There is your DiGiorno deep dish pan pizza right there. You see the uh, lots of cheese going on, lots of toppings. This is an 8 by 12 by 1 oven baked container right here that they've got this contained up in. Once again, this is supposed to give us the uh, the crispy edges. Same kind of container that uh, you know the family size macaroni and cheese comes in, and you see that gets a little crispy edges going on around the top too. So uh, yeah, this should work out pretty well, I'm thinking. Before we move on to these cooking instructions, some of you might ask price. I think this ran us between seven and eight bucks. All right, so our cooking instructions have us preheating the oven to 400 degrees. Then we have to remove the plastic film from the top of this. We throw it directly on the rack. Uh, no tray underneath and we cook this for 23 to 25 minutes and then you're supposed to let it stand for three to five minutes So I'm going to do all that and then we're going to come back and check out our DiGiorno crispy pan pizza And once again, this is the three meat version, right? Stick around All right guys, we are back. We have our DiGiorno crispy pan pizza out of the oven where it's been in there for 25 minutes And then we let it stand and cool off for five minutes and it's all finished now. I haven't even taken it out of the pan yet. So I'm going to show you like what we get right out of the oven first. Then I'm going to chop it up and we'll look at a slice. Ready? Boom, shakalaka. There you go. There is the DiGiorno crispy pan pizza, the three meat version right there out of the oven. Yeah, what do you think? Looks like a big old lasagna, like a pizza lasagna is what it looks like to me. And we can see over here, yep, crispy edges. All right. Not too shabby. All right, let me pop it out of this thing, chop it up, and we'll get a better look. All right, maybe we'll just do this in stages. So I've slid it out of the pan, and now you can get a better look at the edges of it right there. Take all that in. Yeah, it does pretty much, it kind of resembles like a Little Caesars or a Jets. It doesn't look very buttery to me, but it did come out of that uh, the oven tray thing, the pan, very nicely. It wasn't hard at all. As soon as you cracked it off the edges, it just lifted like most of the way, and then I just slid it out onto this. Yeah, not too shabby looking. Boom. All right, let me chop it up. All right, I've cut mine up, and on the box, it shows them cutting it into four gigantic pieces. I cut mine into eight smaller pieces, but at the same time, though, this thing is massive. What's the weight on this? 26.9 ounces or uh, 764 grams. That's close to one pound 11 ounces. And it weighs every bit of it. But take a look there. There you go, that's the, the size slices that I got out of it after chopping it up. You know, they're still pretty decent size. I'd say like three people could eat this. Of course, I had to grab myself a corner slice. And there you go, there's a close up. You can see how thick it is. And uh, yeah, a better look at 
the crust going on there. Toppings. All right, that's weird. It smells like half Little Caesars, half frozen pizza. Like some kind of weird hybrid. All right, down the hatch. All right, this is very close to a fast food delivery pizza. At the same time, it's also very different. Similarities here are shape, size, toppings, crispiness of the edges, the bite through, the chew, um, the flavor of the pepperonis, it's like a spicy pepperoni. Uh, the sauce, it's like a, a bitter, stingy kind of sauce, like very faint traces of any kind of like sugar or sweetness to it. Like I say it's more of like a bitter sauce, very tomatoey flavored. Not a whole lot of seasoning and spices to the sauce at all. Um, the big differences here is the seems to be the absence of the buttery crust, that greasy, the oiliness that you would get from Jets or Little Caesars. The other big difference here is the cheese. Uh, that is apparent. They don't have like a dank mix of cheese on here. It just seems to be like a mozzarella with maybe, maybe a little bit of some sort of a yellow cheese on there, but not a whole lot of it, just enough for looks. Overall, if you weren't comparing this directly to those guys for a frozen pizza, this is fantastic. But I think the whole gimmick here is that you're supposed to be comparing this to those guys. Hey, it's not delivery, it's DiGiorno's. Usually that slogan is a joke. This time, they've actually come pretty damn close. Maybe not delivery, but definitely takeout. Now getting back to the toppings though, we've already talked about the pepperoni. Let's move on to the sausage. It's far and few on here, um, so the flavor of that is minuscule. Most of you're getting like the flavor of pepperoni and that sauce. What appears to be a lot of sausage on here, I think is more of the beef topping and that's almost flavorless. So as, once again, that's just there for looks, texture, and to make it seem like you're getting more of a variety. Overall, this is a pretty solid pizza for the price, which I think, like I said, was between seven and eight dollars. I could definitely see myself picking this up again, but not before I try out the Supreme version of this. Um, I'll probably pummel through that before I even think about getting just the regular pepperoni one. But for this one in particular, the three meat pizza, I'm gonna give this one a high four out of five. <laughs> So new from DiGiorno and their crispy pan pizza, this one was the three meat pizza. I'll probably double back and sometime in the future we'll check out the Supreme. All right, definitely give these a go. I'm Mr. Dirty. This is the GTM Show. Don't forget you can buy knucklehead shirts and hoodies down in the description. Follow me on Twitter and Instagram at the Real Mr. Dirty. As always, get out of here and go have a rotten day.